Hey y'all, Dr. Taylor Nystrom here. The other day I was walking down the street in beautiful Boston, Massachusetts, when I noticed something very cool. This is a honey locust tree. And check out these leaves. On a single tree, you can find two different types of leaves. Compound leaves, where there are leaflets on either side of a central axis. And bicompound leaves, where there are additional axes coming out from the central axis and leaflets on either side of those. Leaves can end up being compound or bicompound, depending on factors like age or environment. And this variation in leaves based on environment is an excellent example of phenotypic plasticity, which is when a single organism can change its phenotype based on environment without changing its genetic code. But check this out. Here's a leaf that shows both compound leaflets and bicompound leaflets. Why? To be honest, I read some papers spoke to some botany experts, and I couldn't find one conclusive answer, but maybe you can. Join me over at biobuddy.com to start learning more about the world around you and studying for your biology exams.